the CSIR is addressing the current lack of precision medicine technologies that are available and suited to the South African population. Researchers are looking at how to improve the efficacy and safety of medication that is designed and tested largely on European populations in the US and Europe. So much of the research that goes on around the rest of the world is focused on looking at Caucasian genetic sequences. And the problem with that is that the origin of all life on Earth started in Africa. So all the genetic diversity is here. By only doing research on a very narrow genetic population, it means we exclude a huge proportion of the genetic diversity of, of the world. And one of the things that's really critical about that is the fact that drugs are largely developed and tested in the West, so on this very narrow genetic population. The drugs come to Sub-Saharan Africa, they get rolled out here, but we've got no idea of their impact on our population group. Researchers combine two of the most advanced technologies in science. The one is stem cell technology and the other is genome engineering. By combining the two, researchers can engineer African mutations into cells in a dish. A stem cell is a cell that can become any cell type in the body and we make them using adult skin cells which we turn back into embryonic-like stem cells and then make them into either liver cells which we use for studying or drug toxicity in the lab. We use stem cells which the team uses to make liver cells for drug toxicity studies as well as macrophages which are immune cells that we use to either study HIV or what we call innate immune memory. We know that the African population has a very diverse genetic background and we know that different drugs cause side effects which we call the adverse side effects in those population groups. So we're trying to really determine which of the drugs causes those severe side effects. In line with next generation health trends, researchers aim to democratize precision medicine technologies to provide health care for all individuals in Africa, so that all patients can be given an opportunity for best treatment outcomes. So one of the technologies that I'm working on is organoid, or something known as organoid technologies. And the idea here is to be able to use advanced cellular modeling to be able to engineer organs outside of the human body. So the idea is that we can look at the specific cell types uh, that make up an organ within a person, and then use these different cell types to engineer an artificial organ outside of the body. And this organ can then be used uh, to test, for example, different drugs. And this is highly relevant for, in particular, for cancer therapy. So in terms of precision medicine and oncology, one of the advantages of using this type of approach is that when you have a patient, you can take a biopsy sample from them, from that tumor, and then you can expand that tumor in vitro, so in, uh, outside of the body. What happens is that we can create hundreds of different mini tumors that resemble the tumor that's inside that patient's body. And we can then go and say, okay, these are all of the drugs that are currently available for cancer treatment in South Africa, and we can test them against these mini tumors. So the idea is to be able to kind of provide really precise advice to physicians and clinicians on what treatments they should be advising or prescribing to their patients. The group consists of experts who are trained in stem cell technology and genome engineering, and are dedicated to advancing research in the field of precision medicine to have lasting and meaningful impact on the health of South Africans. We can balance really phenomenal, incredible research and basic science with promoting impact. So we can work both with private and with academia um, in order to make sure that our research stays at the top of what it should be, but also that we can reach the, the population of South Africa as soon as possible.